Welcome to the Ask a Scientist video series. In this episode, we'll talk about duplication rate in next generation sequencing, what it is, and why it matters for target enrichment workflows. A duplicate read is a sequencing read that maps to precisely the same genomic location as another read, with exactly the same 5' prime and 3' prime ends. The duplication rate is defined as the fraction of mapped sequencing reads that are marked as duplicates. When assessing sequencing coverage, we start with the reference genome that the sequencing reads will be mapped to. To get the most out of your sequencing resources, you want the majority of sequencing reads to map to unique locations on the reference genome. Duplicate reads, shown here in blue and green, map to precisely the same location as other reads, and thus they provide no new sequencing information. To eliminate artificial overrepresentation of these sequences, these reads should be filtered from the sequencing data. Otherwise, they can lead to biased and inaccurate SNP calling, variant calling, and assessment of genome coverage. Duplicate reads can arise from different sources. PCR is a common source of duplicate reads, known as PCR duplicates, where a single library is preferentially amplified, resulting in excess of the same library, thereby lowering the overall complexity of that sample library. Sequencing can also produce duplicate reads, where the same template library is used for cluster generation, resulting in identical sequencing clusters, producing sequencing reads with the same 5' prime and 3' prime ends. This is often observed on sequencers using patterned flow cells. There are multiple factors that can contribute to increased duplicate reads. While PCR is a source of duplicate reads, it is necessary to enrich the library to ensure there is enough material for the target enrichment protocol. Increased PCR duplicate reads are commonly seen in sequencing data from libraries generated with low starting DNA input amounts or from low quality samples. Sequencing to excess or oversequencing, especially for small target enrichment panels, results in increased duplicate reads. Therefore, it's critical to identify the necessary sequencing coverage for your analysis to minimize the potential for duplicate reads due to oversequencing. The blue line in this graph on the right demonstrates that an 899 KB panel design shows increasing duplicate reads with increasing sequencing. Allele matched to DB SNP, the red line, suggests very little sequencing is needed for this design, and in fact, the excess sequencing decreases SNP call accuracy. Performing a double capture, or back-to-back -back captures using the same probe set, can also increase duplication rates. However, especially for smaller panels, the double capture can increase the on-target rate. Therefore, a trade-off for on-target reads and duplication rates should be considered for these panels. Finally, analysis of single read sequencing data can artificially lead to higher duplication rates as only one end of the read is used for duplicate read determination. There are several ways to reduce the occurrence and impact of duplicate reads. First, Ensure that library complexity going into target enrichment is as high as possible. For example, maximize the amount of DNA input into library generation and minimize the number of pre-capture PCR cycles to reduce the occurrence of duplicate reads. Second, where possible, use the appropriate bioinformatic tools and methods to lower duplicate reads in the final data. For example, Subsampling reads from oversequenced data down to the desired read depth can rescue the decrease in data inaccuracy due to the duplicates, improving metrics such as coverage and allele frequency. Finally, adjust experimental design to help ensure low duplication rates. For example, when applicable, use paired end sequencing to avoid increased duplicate read numbers due to analysis of single end sequencing methods. Thanks for watching Ask a Scientist. If you have any questions or ideas for future topics, we would love to hear from you.